here in a festive Tehran, they're calling it the Green Tsunami. That's the great unfurling of support in the last days of the campaign for the Iranian presidential election for Mir Hussein Mousavi, the reformist candidate trying to unseat President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. For several weeks, the campaign had been lifeless, but in the last two weeks it has sprung to life. And some informal polls are now showing Mousavi with a clear advantage over President Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad, however, still has important advantages he may be able to deploy, including control of the state media, of the Revolutionary Guards, and of the militia known as the Basij. He also has significant support outside Tehran in rural areas of the country. However, opposition to Ahmadinejad is not just coming on these streets, but also from within the clerical hierarchy, where several ayatollahs and leading clerics have objected in a letter to some of the language used by Ahmadinejad in a brutal televised debate in which he criticized not only Mousavi, but also Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani, one of the elders of the revolution, the eminence grise, if you like, of the regime, accusing Rafsanjani on national television in front of 40 million viewers of corruption. Nobody really expected that Ahmadinejad would, at this stage, just two days before the election, be under such severe threat, both from within the clerical hierarchy and here on the streets of Tehran. Would an Iran led by a President Mousavi be significantly different from the Iran of today led by President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad? That's a significant and relevant question in that, of course, the Supreme Leader, Ali Khamenei, will still be in place whoever wins the election. But yes, I do believe that a Mousavi presidency would usher in big changes. Just look at this poster on show all around Tehran today. A new greeting to the world in English. Mousavi has attacked Ahmadinejad's foreign policy as adventurous and irresponsible. It's likely that with a Mousavi presidency, the response to President Obama's overtures to Iran would be more positive than it has been to date. And we might just see an end to the 30 years of dysfunctional relationship between the United States and Iran. That's all a long way off. But here in Tehran, it does seem that the winds of change are blowing. This is Roger Cohen in Tehran.